Let me go. I went down to the California Democratic Convention this last weekend. It was in San Diego. Do you have a minute? Yeah, let me talk to Eric. That's my name. Oh, I'm, what are you I'm Jimmy Dore from the Jimmy Dore Show, Young Turks and KPFK. Oh, great. So can we schedule a time? Because uh, we're going down. Oh, sure. To, if you got to go yeah, somewhere. We have, we have a couple things coming up. So that was me trying to get Katie Porter. Uh, I was just told <laughs> that I just got to get her because she's very progressive. So I went and tried to talk to her for a couple of minutes and she was too busy. So feels good. I remember I wanted to interview Katie Porter at the California Democratic Convention. She said no. <laughs> she was like, I have a banker to yell at. She's, I don't. She's like, no, we're busy. I'm like, okay. And then I saw her like 10 minutes later do it. Now I'm like, what the, that hurts my feelings. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a human being. I have feelings. But anyway, uh, I was told, Adam Green, the guy from the Progressive Change Campaign Committee. That's a funny name. Um, he told me, he says, you should go interview Katie Porter. I was like, oh, really? So I went out. I'm like, hey, Katie, we'd like to interview. No. <laughs> Her handler said that. Yeah, Katie didn't say that. She didn't talk to us. Um, but anyway, every, I'm like, I go to a progressive show. Adam Green told me you're a progressive. I'd like to interview. <laughs> anyway, but she won, and that's a big deal. She beat uh, Mimi Walters, and uh, so that's great. All of a sudden, Dave Dagan comes up to me, too, the writer for The Intercept, who's very progressive. And I, that's when I walked up to them. I go, hey, I'm looking for Katie Porter. And that's when, like, oh, we don't, oh, oh, oh. Someone sticks a camera in your face, you dumb mother effer. I can't even believe that you want to be a leader in our country and a goddamn progressive comes over with a microphone and a camera to help you get your stupid message out. And what do you do? You give him the runaround. I hope you effing lose. Guy from the Young Turks comes over with a camera and a microphone and they start shitting their pants like a bunch of freaking wet. It is unbelievable how pussified progressives are. You're such, you're so weak and spineless. Why, can you be weaker? Even Bernie Sanders, right? We've been trying to get Bernie Sanders on the show. And, uh, you know, his campaign, uh, his guests got their head up their ass. Uh, like they did the first, do you remember how long it took Bernie Sanders to come on the Young Turks because they didn't get it because there are a bunch of 60-year-old white guys surrounding him right. who have no idea how new media works and they can't wait to go on Chris Hayes and Rachel Maddow who sh** on them every freaking time and, and then, but some, someone who actually supports them is going to help to get their message out, they shun them. I hope you effing lose again. They're so stupid. No. Right? Bernie's, Bernie's advisors are 60-year-old freaking white guys who are in a bubble. Look how long it took them to get here. They, they let the Democratic National Committee completely rig the system, and they didn't blow a fire alarm. Nobody, And they're still not talking about it. And the system...